for presenting yourselves on my Facebook again. I give you thanks. This is my Facebook. To join it, you must give homage. No, give homage to me. And if this is your army, why does it go? We didn't come here to listen to your bullshit again. Sons of Facebook. I am David Keenan and I see a whole bunch of my friends here in defiance of mediocrity and negativity and toxicity. You've come to fight the good fight. As free men, free men you are. What will you do with that freedom? Will you fight the toxicity? No! We will uh, post up pictures and uh, positive shit and, uh, you know, interesting memes and comedy. Good! Keep it going! But, um, I've got another idea. Um, why don't you, uh, you can do that. That's fair enough. But why don't you, uh, you know, take this one chance, you know? Take this one chance. You gotta lose yourself in the music the moment. You better let let you better never let it go. Woo, you only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Yeah. What you gonna do with it, sir? What you gonna do with it? What you gonna do? Tell me what you gonna do, baby. Yeah. It's Christmas time. And tell me what you're going to do. In the world of plentiful information and online, we can spread a smile of joy instead of toxicity. Show your arms around the world. Christmas time. Well, say a prayer. Pray for the trolls. It's Christmas time. But when you're having fun... Yeah, they tell the trolls, there's a world outside your window, and it's a world of dread and fear, quite worse than your little comfortable little, uh, you know, me echo chamber there, and you're, you know, dead fuck all, and the only water flowing is the bitter sting of tears, but tonight, thank God it's them. Who are trolls instead of us, yeah. Because even as bad as Christmas songs are, at least it can. At least when he got into Greg's, it creates a wee vibe, so there's a wee bit of Christmas cheer, so that he can stand and fucking uh, flirt with the, the woman behind the thing, even though she's like 30 years older, you know, but uh, Ken, I wasn't doing that. Other folk weren't Ken. That's basically what it is, Ken. Karen's like that, isn't it? Ken. Uh, I was watching the wee women behind the thing and, and, and uh, Ken, the guys come out, it's like a dating agency and all the guys, Ken, dressed in their work gear and then they're all flirting with her and she's like, listen, buster, I've seen this shit about a million times, do you want to just take your fucking pie and get the fuck out of here, Ken? But the, the older woman was uh, saying, oh, it called him by his name, Peter, oh, hi, Peter, morning, Peter, and then uh, your card doesn't work and all that kind of thing, so it's like real life, real life. See, a lot of these trials need to experience a bit of real life, yeah. You're not going to experience real life sitting that stone watching, uh, watching bullshit television, man. Uh, I came when I was watching Travis and the, Travis Barker and the Kardashians. Came what I learned, right? If you want to have a good wedding, right? Take loads of valleys and Xanax and you'll be fine, right? Ah!